So, David, welcome in my home. Thank you. And uh, we are talking here normally about non-duality. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why you are here, because I was very interested in your poems. Yes. I've read your poems and they are all in, uh, if I read them, about non-duality. So I'm interested, when are you, so were you starting to write your poems? Oh, I started writing my poems back in February, and it came after a course that I took in September 2018. And in that course, I just learned a lot about taking action on things that you want to accomplish in this life, and how everything that we want is right outside of our comfort zone, and it just comes down to taking action. And then I mix that with, um, just some books that I read that explain that love is all around us and we are made of love and love is very energetic and with that I started writing poetry again. I started writing poetry when I was in my teens but it was very dark poetry because I was a teenager uh -huh. but um, that's where I learned how to make everything rhyme and flow and everything and then as an adult, I just got uh, inspired again. So February, February. Was when I started writing again. And uh, what was the reason you want to write poetry? Because you took a course. Where there was there a reason you want to express yourself? I want to express myself. Way? Yeah, definitely expression. And and was there a reason, or is that something spontaneous? The reason is to inspire other people as much as I can, just to get my beliefs out there in my way. And I continue to write poetry because a lot of people have come to me telling me how inspired they are by my poetry that I write and how they look forward to my posts on Facebook. And it's been really, it builds me up to hear that. And yeah. it fulfills me to bring that joy into other people's lives. Yeah, and I read on Facebook sometimes of, of uh, before you had a terrible accident. Yes, in March two thousand eighteen, I got hit by a car um, when I was on my bicycle, and I had uh, seven fractures in my left hand, as well as um, they had to sew this finger back on my index finger on my left hand. They had to sew it back on, almost completely around, but. Um, as a result of that, I had found out just how strong my willpower was, how strong my mind is to be able to come back from something like that the way that I did. I got hit in March 2018. They predicted a four-month recovery, and I did got a, basically a full recovery in two and a half months. Okay. And then um, in July 2018, I'm proud to say that I rode my bike 750 miles. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yeah. And um, you are born in Houston? I was born in Houston, Texas. And yeah. when are you went to Seattle? Uh, when I was 13 and a half. Okay, minimum. just basically you were, your teenage years were there. Um, early teenage years and then my later teenage years were spent in Seattle, yeah. Okay. And what well, your youth was normal youth or um, average or? No, it was not. Um, up until I moved to Seattle, me and my family flew around the world because my father works for United Airlines. And so I was able to see a lot of different aspects of culture from around the world from a very young age, which I do think influenced me um, a lot as a child. And then when I moved to Seattle, I got into drugs, I got into, not gangs, but just, I fell into a bad crowd of people who influenced me to do very unmoral things in my life. Mm. And that lasted for probably three years, four years that I was in that crowd of people. And then... 
shortly thereafter, I met a girl that I was with for seven years, and she kind of pulled me out of that, which is very, very good. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then um, I discovered cycling, and I love bicycles, and I became a bicycle mechanic, and I was a professional bicycle mechanic for five years up until recently. And uh, you're a very healthy man now. I am. I am. I quit drinking. I quit smoking marijuana. I quit smoking cigarettes. I quit doing cocaine, mushrooms, all the hard drugs. And now I'm completely sober. Just for the natural. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Completely sober for the first time in my life and I've never felt better. That's 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 amazing, of course. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, it's, it's, it's always difficult to pull yourself. But you had your girlfriend or so, pull yourself from yeah, the, your yeah. hair, huh? Absolutely. <laughs> like like the Baron von Munchhausen. Well, yeah. Uh, I didn't actually quit drinking until I broke up with her. That was in 2015, about four years ago that we split up. But um, 2016, I quit drinking. Uh, 2017, I quit doing cocaine. Um, I just fell into a very dark place after our breakup. And then I was able to pull myself back out. Um, between 2017 and 2018, I lost 55 pounds. Wow. And that was a very big bodily transformation for me.